Hi guys, I have so many questions quite often about um, minors products because I mention them in my videos but they're not at the drugstore and they're not kind of readily available to go and buy um, really anywhere. So I have so many questions about where you can buy them and what they are. So I thought I would do a little video with my favourite minors products and um, kind of tell you where you can purchase them. This is not a sponsored video, they do send me products from time to time when they launch but I have very very little to do with their PR, they don't even know I'm making this video so it's not a sponsored video by any means, I just really really enjoy their products, they are so so reasonably priced um, for what they are if you get the right ones. It's very hit and miss, some products I've not enjoyed um, but I'm going to run through the ones that I've really really liked and there have been other ones that I've liked as well but these are just kind of what have actually made it into my rotation and the things that I have to hand so I could talk about the other stuff but this is the stuff that I really must like because it's always around um, so I'm going to talk about that first of all and at the end I'll talk about where you can purchase and I'll link it below okay um, first of all I don't know whether or not you can still purchase this um, and that's kind of the case for a couple of products as well I think that you can um, but I've had this for a while and it's one of the body lights it's a body shimmer cream um, I was going to say from Miners but everything's from Miners that's the whole point of the video um, this is in Golden Gleam and it's something that you can put kind of on your arms, your legs, your chest, whatever you're going out or you could even mix a little bit into your foundation or use it as a highlight and I will just show you that's what it is and then it gives you this Golden Gleam and I just think it's really really nice and again they're all really really affordable you can get such expensive versions of all of these things and um, I'm just wiping it on my trousers Okay, I'm wearing pajamas. Um, you can get such much, such much, such expensive versions of all of these things, and I think that's why it's a really, really great brand. And I really wish that they were in Boots and Superdrug, but unfortunately, they're not yet. Um, another thing that this is quite new, so they must still sell this, is Voluptulash. They've already done this in several different colours, and they recently sent me an extra black. And I haven't actually used the extra black one yet. I really struggle with mascaras and although this isn't the most amazing mascara in the world especially for the brush that it has I actually really like it and the brush is like this and I generally don't like kind of these plasticky rubbery bristly brushes but because it's kind of curved it reminds me a little bit of the um, Lancome brush I think for the Hypnose maybe and I really really like it it gives me some volume and I tend to layer it with something that will give me a little bit more length but if you've already got long lashes, then this would be really, really good. Um, what else? What else? Another new product that they sent me that I've actually got on today is this blusher brick. And they have this in pink as well. They have it in pink. Um, the one that I like is called oh, Browns and Pinks. Uh, basically, it's just like a three shade blusher. But it was really, really nice. And again, you know why I like blushes. And most of the time, it's because they're not too pigmented. They kind of can be built up because I'm a little bit heavy handed with stuff like that. So it's not too in your face. You're not going to apply too much without realising with that. But I really, really like that. It really, really brightened my face up when I used that for the first time. Uh, another blusher that I've talked and talked and talked about is the bronzer blusher blend. I keep wanting to say from Miners, um, which is in Sun Blush. You can get, I think, Sun Kissed as well, which might be a little bit more orangey, but this is the perfect, perfect shade for me. I've had this for nearly two years and I've only just hit pan and I use it all the time. It actually had a lot more of the highlightery, the paler kind of shade in it, but I used it as a highlighter more than I used it as a full on swirly mess. So that's why there's less highlighter than there is. Um, bronzer in it, but I absolutely love that. This is one of my holy grail products, and I think it's like three ninety nine or something. Um, another one of their products, which I have pretty much, I must have like twenty five of these because they send me them when the collection comes out. Um, but mine is nail polish. I think it's two ninety nine, um, and I think this is easily as good as Barry M nail polish, which are, is around the same price. And although you can't get it at the drugstore, I think if you were going to make a miners order then there's enough stuff that you would want to warrant actually buying it online. Um, and that's obviously just one of the nail polishes, but that's one of my favourite colours, and it is... <laughs> Weekend in Paris. I think that's from, like, last fall collection. Um, two of my favourite lipsticks, they're from the Moisture range. Moisture Effect range, rather. They do a regular range, a matte range, and a moisture range. And I do prefer the moisture range. And then they do the matte effect 
lip paints completely separate but I'll talk about that in a second. Two of my favourites are Hush Hush which is this kind of pinky beige. Reminds me a lot of the uh, Viva Glam Gaga, the new one, Gaga 2. And this one, is this the right one? No, this is not the right one. <laughs> Found it! English Rose, this is what I put on in my tutorial the other day, my spring tutorial. Really, really like that gorgeous colour. So they're my probably two favourite lipsticks from them. And um, then of course, and again I've talked to you to death about this as well, is the Matte Factor um, Lip Paint and it's in Peach, it's my absolute favourite colour. I love the reds as well because especially if you're wearing a red, they don't bleed at all and they last so well. They don't, they like wear off so that you can just wipe it off and start again. They don't kind of go crumbly and dry and weird. They don't seem to dry out my lips, which is strange for a matte product, but I only need one coat. And the more coats you put on, obviously, the more crumbly it gets. Um, but I only need one coat with any of these and I absolutely love them. So the matte factor, I told my friend, she styles so coy on um, YouTube, if I can remember I'll link her below, but she's got a style blog as well. I told her about them at Christmas and she actually ordered all the colours. Um, and she'd only seen one but she ordered all the colours online um, because she liked it so much when she tried it. It's so, so nice, one of the best products that they've ever sent me. Um, and it just, I don't know, it kind of reignited my love for miners. I had products in the past from them that I really, really liked, but then I kind of revisited other things that I'd had and thought, yeah, no, you know, this is actually a really good brand. And this year they've really, really stepped it up and a lot of their new products are really, really nice. The new lipsticks are much nicer than they used to be. Um, so if you have ever tried miners before, I would say give them another go as well. Um, Defining Line is their liquid liner. And this is again something that would be particularly good for those of you that prefer like pen liner because it's a really, really firm nib. It's a firm nib and then right at the end is a really, really flexible one for a cat eye, kind of just to do the wing. And this is in kind of an olive green, but they do them in, um, I think they do like brown, blue, green and black. But that's a really, really nice liquid liner. And lastly, I'm going to talk about these. And the reason I'm going to talk about them lastly is I love them, but I never use them. Um, and they are the pigments. They are Dip and Define, they're called. These are my two favourite colours. Um, and they are called, I never remember the number of anything. Cosmic Copper and Khaki Gold. Khaki Gold is so like sumptuous olive, it's unreal. But I'll show you why I don't like them. It's just, I don't like pigments in general, they're just so messy. But I do like the idea of these, like they, they're on springs. It's all, it's all kind of, they've tried their very, very best to minimise the mess of pigments. So if I was to use a pigment, and I've got lots of matte ones that I've literally never used. I've opened them up, swatched them on my hand, and gone, oh, that's nice, never used it. I'm sick of having glitter and powder all over my face. I just had enough. But they've tried to make it the best they can. So as you unscrew it, it pops up, but it's still kind of sealed. So you know that you're not going to get it everywhere. And then when you open it, it's on its own applicator. They couldn't have tried any more. It's always going to be messy. But I, I really appreciate how much they've gone to the effort of trying to minimise the mess on something that is very, very messy. I just generally hate to work with pigments, but their pigments are so beautiful that I love that. And so, so similar to some of all over if you have it. Or if you don't have it, I'm going to show you the other one while I have it. But again, it's so messy. It's painful to even get these out of the drawer because I know I'm going to make a mess. But it's so gorgeous. This reminds me a lot of, um, I had uh, an Urban Decay pigment that was basically a pigment of half baked and it's nearly identical. Love that. So that was mine is kind of at a glance, just my favourite products from them and I have kind of to hand. Uh, there are lots of stuff. They have a floral gloss that is really, really lovely, but it's in my handbag right now, so I didn't want to go out of the um, and you can get them from miners.co.uk. I will link it below. I'll link any reviews or anything that I've done so you can check those out as well. But I just wanted to make a video for those people that kept asking questions about miners because there's not a lot out, the, out there about them. I think that they do send things to other people because I've seen random reviews here and there. I don't review every single product that they send me. I only really review the things that I get and I try and I go, wow, that's really amazing. Um, and so I ended up reviewing it and swatching it and whatever on my blog. It's very rare that I will review something one product on YouTube, which is why you don't hear a lot about them from me. You only hear me say, um, oh, I'm using this, or this is my favourite product, but I never really kind of make a big deal of, and a review about it because I don't like to review individual things on YouTube. It's a bit weird. Um, 
but yes I just want to make this just to kind of answer any questions that you have if you have any questions leave me them in the bottom bar and I will of course get back to you but yeah most most people just want to know where you can get them from so you can purchase them at a lot of I say drugstores pharmacies there's one or two in the in the town that I live in um, and there's lots all over the country so if you want to go and see the product then you can go and buy them from pharmacies but they're not available in kind of boots or super or anywhere like that so you can probably find somewhere near you that sells it but you can also buy online as well um, so yeah, I hope that cleared things up for some of you that have been asking those questions. Probably like 10 of you will watch this video because nobody knows what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, it was just a video for those people that had all those questions about it. But thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please go subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.